Hello everyone! It's a little bit in our realtor here. I'm Masigimo from GM Huawei Realty Limited. Okay, so today I'll be talking about um, documents that you should get when you buy a land. Okay, so number one document you should request for, you should get when you buy a land is receipt. Okay, you're meant to be given a receipt even if you make an initial deposit, you're meant to get a receipt. Then two is contract of sale. The contract of sale shows that you have a business dealing with the developer or the um, the company you're buying this um, property from. Then uh, again, you're meant to get a survey. A survey. A survey is um, it shows you know the the size and shape of your land, it carries all the information of your land. And so there is provisional survey and there is registered survey, that's red copy survey. So the provisional survey is, um, you know, it shows you the portion of your land, the size and the shape of your land, where your land is located in the estate, it shows you that. Um, but for the red copy, so red copy survey, it's usually registered in Alausa. Okay, so for instance, if you buy a land and you like to sell it um, later, the person who bought, who wants to buy the land from you can use that survey and go to Alausa and check. He will see that you are the owner of that land because your name would have been registered in um, Alausa, that's uh, legal state land, so your general office. Okay, then so you also get a deed of assignment. The deed of assignment is a transfer of ownership from the seller to you, the new buyer. So it spells out all the terms and everything in the deed of assignment. So you get a deed of assignment when you buy the property. But most times, um, a lot of companies don't give the deed of assignment and survey on sale. They are doing allocation. That's for land, actually. Okay. Then, um, you know, a lot of people ask me that. Okay, you said this land has C of O. So am I going to be giving C of O? No. You will not you're not going to be giving C of O. Even if you buy a land that has either governor's consent or C of O, what happens is the audit of assignment, the uh, the C of O or the governor's consent number will be quoted in your deed of assignment. So with that, with your deed of assignment, your survey, you can take that and now process your own governor's consent or C of O in your own name. Okay, so uh, most times it's only for instance maybe when you want to um, maybe seek for loan because if you if, if you want to get loan, the bank require the property has a C of O. But most times um, uh, mortgages they don't give mortgages on on land. It's, it has to be uh, um, um, uh, there must be an existing project that's finished project on ground. Okay, before you get a loan. So that's all for today. Thank you. Hope we have been enlightening. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, GM Harvey Realty Limited. Like this video, share. Please turn on notification because we are going to be churning out a lot of videos. So also follow my YouTube channel, Messi Gimo, and our Instagram handle is GMH Realty Limited. Instagram and my Instagram handle is Gimo underscore Messi underscore. So have a beautiful day and cheers.